In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to train your sheep to go on the stanchion. So if you have dairy sheep like I do, or you'd like to train your sheep to give you some milk, then chances are you need to get your sheep trained to go up on the stanchion and not struggle so much. I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery, and today we just had a new singleton lamb just born. And this here is Rumi and her baby. So we're going to be training her today to go up on the stanchion. So we like to do it first or second day after they give birth. That way uh, we are maximizing production of milk and also they get used to it faster. And a lot of times they start to associate that letdown and getting the milk out right away so that it doesn't become something they have to learn further down the line. So the first thing when it comes to training your sheep to go up on the stanchion is to make sure that your stanchion is well constructed it's not too high up for them to get on and it's not slippery. So for example, we built this stanchion here using some plans for goats and milking goats. And what we did here is we added these little wooden slats here to help the sheep get up and not slip because wood tends to be a little bit more slippery. And so we don't want sheep to feel like it's scary or dangerous or anything like that. So it's also not too tall. This does help us so we don't have to bend down so much. But even if you don't have a ramp at all, now the most important part of your stanchion is really this headlock. I think this is the magic part. Even if you did not have sheep go up on a ramp and you just focused on having a spot to basically tie them in. And then we also put grains here in this bucket where they can come and eat. So grains in here and having some sort of a treat for them up here is a huge part of our success and our strategy for training sheep. So if you didn't watch my other video, I have a whole video on training sheep in general. So if your sheep are already trained to grains and to a bucket, then getting them trained to go up on the stanchion using grains is just another natural next step for them. And you can do that even before they give birth by just having them go up on the ramp and eat grains up here on the stanchion without doing any milking. And that's something that we haven't done, but I think we might start to do in future years because some of our sheep are easier to train and others are a little bit more reluctant. So being able to just train a positive association right off the get-go of the stanchion where they just get treats up there, they get food and they enjoy it. There's nothing scary. They get used to going up and down. And that's just a great thing to have associated with this stanchion right away. Now we were really lucky because the first sheep that we got were already freshened, which means they had already given birth, they had already been milked, and so they went up on the stanchion pretty easily. It's like they already knew what to do. We didn't actually have to train them from scratch. So from there on, we had new sheep just follow along. They saw the other ones do it. It was so much easier to get them to go up because of that. Now if you don't have that benefit, what you can do is you can actually bait the sheep to go up with their own lambs. So one person can hold lambs and bring them right up to the top of the stanchion. The sheep should hopefully go ahead and follow her babies up there. And we've been really lucky with this method. It works really well. And of course, as the lamb gets heavier, it's a little bit harder to do. That's why you have to start really early, like first or second day after the lambs are born. Now, that being said, that may not work. And we've definitely had sheep that were very reluctant and all sheep are gonna be different. So some might be easier to train, others might be a little bit harder, but we've had one where we had to basically push her up the ramp pull at the same time and basically it took both of us to get her up there and it took us several days of this really tough push-pull routine where she was resisting almost the whole way up. Once she got there and we got her head into the holder and she got her grains, it was fine and now she just goes up on her own. So she knows there's grains up there and she's a lot less reluctant. She knows that the machine's not scary and it actually doesn't take that long to get her milk out. So you do have to persevere. So if you are really struggling to get your sheep up there I know they can be very big and very strong so just go ahead and push pull do what you have to do to get them up there and that's why I said it might be better to train them with grains before they're even pregnant or before they're due to give birth now once they're up there you might have some sheep that are kicking or that are really trying to get out so you could hobble them and that basically means tying a rope around each of the back legs or the front legs as well um, and that can be really effective we've never done that I've never had to do that but I know some sheep definitely Definitely need it to really just learn to stand there calmly without you know kicking or trying to get out so you can use different types of tricks too so you can have someone at the head of the sheep petting and speaking gentle words to the sheep to make sure she feels comfortable and safe also keep holding the lamb there if you think that's helpful definitely in the beginning you know the mom wants to keep her eyes on her lambs as much as possible so if they're
there behind her, then she might be freaking out. So putting them up front, holding them next to her can be really beneficial too. So we sometimes use our stanchion for babies that have a hard time drinking from the mom. So if the mom walks away when they're trying to drink, we might just keep her in the headlock for a bit, let the baby drink and make sure that they're getting enough nutrition. A stanchion is extremely beneficial whether you're hand milking or using a milking machine. And if you're curious what kind of milk machine we have, go ahead and watch my review video all about that here.